Mr. Beast is losing between 7 and 8 million dollars every single month due to the sheer scale that his videos have gotten to. But how is he still the biggest YouTuber on the platform despite only making 5 million dollars a month in ad revenue from his main channel? Well this is because his main channel literally only makes up 1 23rd of his revenue due to his 18 channels, Mr. Beast Burger, Feastables, Brand Deals, Affiliate Links and so many others that we don't even know about. And all of this is due to one little thing. YouTube. YouTube has become that important that even Mr. Beast's 10 million dollar empire would crumble before our eyes if YouTube were to disappear. So now you know the importance of YouTube ad revenue, I'll be showing you how much 6 of your favourite YouTubers are making, starting from a small lonely channel to some of the biggest corporations that we know on the platform. To see if you want to dedicate your life to succeeding on YouTube, or if maybe this whole YouTube thing isn't for you. First, I just want to make you aware that when your channel gets monetized, it by all means is not all up from there. As someone who has previously owned a monetized YouTube channel, early monetization is as close to poverty as you can possibly get. But if you stick with it and be consistent, the possibilities are genuinely endless. And speaking of which, let's see how much you'll be earning as a small recently monetized channel by using my previous channel as an example. See, before this channel that you're watching right now, I owned a small gaming channel that had managed to accumulate around 6,000 subscribers and was monetized for around a year. And in that year of posting long-form videos, shorts, and live streaming nearly every single day, I earned a measly £850, which is equivalent to just over US$1,000. Now, this may shock you as typically a year of hard work isn't usually equivalent to £850. However, during this time, I was not attempting to optimize my revenue as I was more concerned with delivering consistent quality content for the viewers. For example, my CPM was absolutely absolutely atrocious, at about 80p per 1000 views. If you didn't know, CPM is how much money the creator earns for every 1000 views that they managed to get on the video. Now, my CPM was particularly low because I made very short videos, around 3-4 to four minutes in length, in a niche that is not known for paying very well, which is the gaming niche. Now, in order to get paid £850 in this niche, I would have to have gotten just over 1 million video views. But I didn't. This is where live streaming comes into play. See, around 70% of this revenue came from super chats, memberships and other donations. But that was it. I would have earned only around £300 in this year that I spent monetized on YouTube. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the reality of YouTube ad revenue. So to avoid this, you must make your videos longer so that you can put more ads on them and possibly pick a niche that is more profitable. But be careful as if you aren't enjoying making your videos in the niche, trust me, you will not last very long on this platform. But now we're moving on to, let's say, a slightly bigger channel. And this is Elevate, who have around 1.6 million subscribers, but they upload only shorts. See, despite bringing in tens of million views every Every single month they are actually not earning a lot in comparison to the views that they are able to receive. See, despite pulling in more views per month than the person above them on this list, they are only actually earning around probably about three to four thousand per month. Now don't get me wrong, this is an impressive amount of money and for the effort that goes into the shorts, the owner has managed to create a very profitable channel. And if you want to do the same as YouTube shorts, I will show you one secret that you can implement that will literally 10x the amount of money that you're making. But be aware, this takes a lot of hard work and dedication. So let me lay it out. You've managed to build one shorts channel that is bringing a respectable 3 to 4k a month. Now imagine if you spend some of this money to fully automate the channel, meaning that you no longer need to interfere with the channel at any level. This includes hiring script writers, editors, someone to come up with the ideas of the shorts, and even an uploader. Now you're generating money passively without even touching your keyboard. Now you can put your time into growing another channel of the same characteristics, but this time in a different niche. And there you go, now you have two channels earning 3k a month. And once you automate this channel, Channel, you can then move on to the next channel, again, in a different niche, and another channel, and another, and another, and you see where this is going now. Now imagine you have 6, 7, 8 different shorts channels spanning across YouTube, each earning 3k a month, but that's not even the end. Now take those shorts and this time upload them to TikTok, yeah, you've just doubled the revenue. Now let's do it again, this time with Instagram Reels, now you've just tripled the revenue. And now you've created a YouTube empire that rivals Mr. Beast. So if you're willing to put in the work, you could earn a ridiculous amount of money with YouTube shorts, just like Elevate. But again, you need to dedicate your life to this, and it takes a lot of effort. But now let's take a break from the big corporations on YouTube and go right back to square one. Believe it or not, it actually doesn't take that much effort in order to again earn an unbelievable amount of money on YouTube. And let's talk about the prime example of this, Sam 
Sulek. If you haven't heard of this man, he is a fitness slash bodybuilding creator who uploads videos that are around 40 minutes to an hour every single day. And what does he do to create these videos? Well, he talks in his car with no cuts in the video. He goes to the gym with minimal cuts in the video. He gets back in his car again with the video still not being cut. And by filming what he loves doing, Sam has built one of the fastest growing YouTube channels on the platform that yes, generates a breathtaking amount of money every single month. You see, due to Sam uploading long, nearly an hour long videos, he is able to earn a lot more money than you may think. According to Social Blade, Sam is earning anywhere from 4k a month to 70k a month. And I'd be willing to bet it's on the higher end of that spectrum. With all of this equating to at a minimum of 50k a year, up to 850k a year. But not only this, this is actually the first case of the video where the creator has actually stemmed out from YouTube and instead has made money from other revenue streams. This being the fact that he's actually signed with a group called Hostile. Of course, there's no way of knowing how much money this is, but we can assume that it's, let's just say, a good amount of money. But now let's move from one extremely humble creator to another one with none other than Graham Stephan. Now, although the subscriber difference between the two isn't massive in the grand scheme of things, the revenue difference is, well, a lot bigger than you may think. Now, before I show you how much Graham is earning, let me just tell you first why he's earning this much. You see, your CPM, or how much you earn per 1,000 views, can fluctuate depending on what niche you're in. At one end of the scale, you have gaming videos that pay around $2 per 1,000 views, whilst on the other end of the scale, you have finance, which averages around $14 per 1,000 views, which is a lot if you apply it to a channel like Graham's that is getting millions of views a month. The cause in this drastic raise in revenue is the effect of advertisers that are willing to pay more money to advertise their product on videos to do with finance and money, which therefore leads to someone like Graham Stefan earning up to 300k a month across the three channels that he owns. But it doesn't stop there. Graham also offers a teaching program, consulting calls, coaching, and so many more services, which means that yes, Graham Stefan is bringing in an extraordinary amount of money every single month. And just a quick note, this video where Graham talks about his earnings is a little outdated now, meaning that his earnings per month now are definitely a lot higher than what they were back then. So you can just imagine for yourself the sheer scale of what he's earning now. But now we're moving on to what you could call the big boys, starting with the Sidemen. The Sidemen are one of the best examples of how to build a business on YouTube from absolutely nothing. So get your notepad and pen out because this would be important if you want to one day grow even beyond YouTube. But Let's start with YouTube. The Sidemen own four channels. Sidemen, more Sidemen, Sidemen Reacts, and Sidemen Shorts. For the sake of this video and my own sanity, we won't be talking about their own personal channels. With the Sidemen main channel bringing in around 300,000 a month, more Sidemen bringing in 200,000 a month, Sidemen Reacts bringing in about 130,000 a month, and Sidemen Shorts bringing in around 60k a month. And with all of this accumulated, we can say that they're bringing in just under 700,000 a month from YouTube alone, according to Social Blade. I would say it might be a bit more, but we'll take these to statistics so that it's consistent. But that's not it for the Sidemen. You see, the Sidemen are one of the best examples of diversifying revenue streams. So let's go through them to show you the sheer quantity of money that they're raking in. First of all, there is merch. Their clothing line, Sidemen Clothing, has been here from the start and has now grown into the mammoth of the brand that it is today. Even managed to own an in-person shop where people can go in and explore for themselves. Of course, there's no way of knowing exactly how much they're able to make a month, but we can safely assume that it is most likely in the seven-figure range, if not high six figures. But that's not it. And they also have their subscription-based platform, Side Plus, which despite only being $6.99 a month, makes them a lot of money. And because they made the decision to create it on their own platform, other than a platform like YouTube, they are taking home 100% of the revenue which they are making. And by multiplying their potential subscriptions by the seven pounds that it's worth, you can just imagine the absolutely disgusting amount of money that they're able to make. But that's not even it. They still have sides, brand deals, affiliate links, and so much more. All of this without even including their own personal personal channels and brands. With all of this being said, we are safe to assume that the Sidemen are bringing in a healthy amount of money each month. But if you thought that was a lot of money, let me introduce you to the pinnacle of YouTube money, Mr. Beast. It's no secret that the Mr. Beast brand practically prints cash for a living, but do you actually know the extent of how much money he's generating? Well, as I mentioned earlier, Mr. Beast's main channel is generating up to 5 million every single month. But now let's take that number and add it onto his gaming channel, which is pulling in 130 million views a month, his Reacts channel which is pulling in 180 million views a month, and all of his other channels which are all pulling in a lot of views every single month. Now let's put all of those channels into different languages and get even more channels. 18 of them to be exact. All monetized and generating a ridiculous amount of money. And we haven't even started. Mr. Beast Burger, Feastables, Brand Deals, Affiliate Links, One-Off Deals, and so much more. With all of this, you can see why Mr. Beast has built an empire worth over $10 billion. All from 
YouTube. Well, I hope this video has helped to open your eyes to the sheer potential of YouTube, and I truly hope that this has helped you in your decision as to whether YouTube is worth it, which the answer to that question is yes. Yes, it is.